Hummingbird. It's a film, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, <laughs> by Stephen Knight. So I didn't finish my sentence. Um, Stephen Knight is, uh, you know, a world-class writer that has written some fantastic films, and this is his first, uh, his uh, first and great effort as a as a filmmaker and a director. So um, it's a, a terrific story about a guy running away from his past. Uh, and uh, someone that shares a very dark secret with um, with a nun. Uh, so, not something I've done before. <laughs> so how did you come to be involved in the project? Did you know Stephen prior to making this movie? No, but I've I've you've been very aware of his 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 work and and who he is and yeah, it's uh, you know it's a, it's that kind of quality doesn't usually land on my uh, on my desk. You know, normally people want me to bang someone around the head, drive a car and shoot a gun and they're very happy. So um, this has, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of content. It's a much deeper and richer story with, you know, great characters and, you know, it takes takes me places that, you know, that I don't normally go. So was it, did you quite enjoy the kind of the challenge that was of taking on this quite intricate character? Yeah, I enjoy working with smart people. Um, I've worked with a lot of people that ain't so smart. Uh, so when I do get to be surrounded by, you know, such a, a an amazing set of uh, people that, you know, there's Paul Webster who's a brilliant producer. You've got Chris Mangues who's a great DP. You've got a, a fabulous production designer, a great costume designer. It's all those things are very important when you come to, you know, to make a film. You need uh, you're only as good as the team around you, and uh, you know the people that you're working with, working with Vicky McClure and. You know, Agatha. The uh, it's that that kind of environment is 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 so important on the quality of the end product. You know, and you've got a very strong chemistry <coughs> with Agatha. I feel did that something you just found came quite naturally, or did you, the two of you have to kind of work towards that? No, I think that's uh, that's either there or it isn't there. Um, no one knows whether that's going to come or or I don't know how you find chemistry. I think it's just an instinctual thing and. Uh, we just uh, we just found a way that it just it, it just it was like a little spark for us. It just worked great. And uh, did you, do you know that straight away when you go onto a set when you meet them? Can you tell instantly like this is something that could work? This this could be the start of something quite. Yeah, you know immediately. Yeah, I think so. I, I think within within a day or two of, of a rehearsal, you know, uh, you know what's what's coming, <laughs> good or bad. And this, you know, it's 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 you know it's. It's really relaxing to know you can, you, you know, you're going to go and do something that is going to work. And as for you mentioned, Vicky McClure, of course. I mean, she's arguably the most sort of promising actress in Britain at the moment. Must be wonderful to be working alongside her. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a great thing. You know, we are. It's such an important role for for the Joey character to to have someone like that. Um, my only my only regret is that we didn't have a lot more to do. You know, have more screen time together. Um, but. She's fabulous. I'm, I'm just, just so happy it was someone like that. Of course, you've done a lot of big Hollywood productions. Is it quite nice to be back here at home in London shooting a movie? Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, been kicking around with, you know, big Hollywood uh, action stars, and uh, this is a, it's a, it's a different thing. It's very nice to be back home. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, this was all sort of um, shot on location, Covent Garden and Soho, etc. Did, did, did that pose any difficulties with people coming up to you and stopping you? I mean, because obviously you're quite famous. <laughs> uh, no, it was five o'clock in the morning mostly. Uh, there's not many people that sort of recognise you if they are. They're too drunk or too pissed to even fucking <laughs> to be able to stand next to you. You know. <laughs> and effectively, this is a kind of rags to riches tale. Do you reckon? Were you able to kind of um, get a really kind of find a middle? I don't know. Get in touch with the character, I suppose, because when Snatch and Lockstock came about, you really you, your career really elevated. And I know the situations are quite different, but could you find some connection to the character in a sense that life just kind of changing for the better, sort of instantly? Yeah, uh, it's you know I've been given a, a lot of opportunity, uh, and you know when you have an opportunity, it's you know the lights come on, uh, and you have to do the best you can with that. Um, so there is definitely some something uh, inside that recognises that, yeah.
I mean, you are, you have sort of one of the biggest, well, <laughs> action heroes in the world at the moment. Did you ever envisage it would ever get to this point? Uh, no, I think it would be uh, deluded if I thought that that was ever going to happen, you know, selling jewellery on the street. <laughs> And of course, I mean, the rumour mill is in overdrive at the moment, but is any word on Expendables 3? Is that something you're interested in? You yeah, sort of like Expendables 3. Uh, Stallone is, uh, you know, he's, he's very hard to say no to. So even if I didn't want to do it, which is ridiculous to think, he'd have a way of persuading me. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a privilege to be, you know, kicking around with those people. They, you know, the, they carved out the name uh, Action Hero. They are, they play heroic characters, which are, you know, the strongest of the strong. And, you know, the, if you get a kick around with Arnold and, and Sly, you know, on the same day of work, it's, it's a good day, believe me. And uh, Homefront is another film we can see you in for definite uh, coming up, well, not too soon, but in the near future. Can you tell us a little bit about that as well? That was something that Sly had written for himself. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a... The thing about Sly is, you know, he's, he's like Steve Knight. He's, uh, he's a writer, he's a filmmaker, he's a director. Uh, and this is a, a personal uh, sort of delivery. You know, he, he wrote it for himself and he's asked me to do it. So uh, it's a, a very significant time in my career that, you know, I get presented with something on a personal level to go and to go and go to work with. So, what's your relationship with a uh, life with Sly? Because it seems like you're almost he's seen you as like a protege of sorts. Like he's handing over the baton in a way. Yeah, I fill the car up, I cut the grass, <laughs> I do all the, you know the usual things. <laughs> Man in my position. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Much appreciated. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>